District 60 student. Most of you already know me as Miss Monica Conway. You usually see me coming into your schools and teaching fun, hands-on, applied design skills and technology projects. They will be a little bit different because I will be teaching you digitally from my makerspace to yours. When working in any type of makerspace, please make sure to review the Be Safe in Your Makerspace protocols. For our very first project, we will be making block bots. Materials needed to make block bots are the following. A piece of wood used for the body of your block bot. Bolts used for the block bot ears. Different sizes of screws. These are used for the eyes and the legs. Eye hook. This is used for the block bot antenna. This antenna is used to hook on to your keychain. Metal washers. These are used for different types of eyes for your block bot. Different size nails used as fasteners and guidance holes. Picture frame hooks. These are used for your block bot mouth. Key ring, used for hanging your block bot up. Tools needed when making a block bot are the following. Markers, used to customize your block bot. Hammer, used to attach fasteners. Screwdrivers, also used to attach fasteners to your block bot. And the last tool that you will be needing is sandpaper. Sandpaper will make the rough edges of your block bot body smooth. So now that we have everything, let's begin. Always wear your safety glasses when handling tools. Our first step will be sanding down the sides of our block bot body. The next step, we will be putting guidance holes. This is so that we will have the least resistance when putting in our screws and eye hook into our block bot body. After you have all of your guidance holes made for your eyes, antenna, ears, and legs, it's time to start assembling your block bot. Let's start with the ears. Firstly, place a bolt over one of your block bot's ear guidance holes and fasten the bolt using a small screw. The screw I am using has a square socket drive and requires me to use a Robertson screwdriver. Turn your screwdriver right clockwise when tightening your screws. Now for the eyes. For our first eye, we will be placing a metal washer over one of the block box eye guidance holes and fastening the washer using a small screw. The screw I'm using has a cross head drive and requires me to use a Phillips screwdriver. For the second eye, we are going to place a small screw over the other guidance hole and tighten into the wood. When attaching the mouth, I use a picture frame hook. The frame hook requires small nails to be hammered into the wood to fasten onto the block bot's body. Frame hooks are able to give the block bot some funky looking teeth. If you don't have any picture frame hooks, you can also use thumbtacks, just like this little guy. A 
Attaching the legs, we use longer screws. Place the screw over one of the leg guidance holes and tighten the screw into the wood a third of the way. Repeat this step when attaching the other leg. For the antenna, take the eye hook and screw it into the last guidance hole on top of the block bot. We will then use this antenna to attach the key ring, like so. If you would like to add more characteristics to your block bot, markers are a great way to add on eyebrows, tongues, and a lot more. Use your imagination. And there you have your very own Blackbot. Subscribe to my channel for more Makerspace projects.